Hey, what's up you guys? I'm here with Austin, Ryan, and Tove, and today we are going to be playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Coulter 35 edition. I want everyone at home to play along. We have some Coulter 35 trivia, and we're gonna see which of us knows the most, which of us gets the furthest. Now, the catch is that I did not set this up. Austin set this up. He is going to be asking all of us the questions, so this way I get to compete and see if I know my own channel. I'll just break it down real quick how the game works. It's gonna be a multiple choice question. One of them is correct, and it's gonna be a question about Coulter 35. And once you get the question right, you'll move up to another level and you'll get another question. There's about 20 questions in total, okay? And you will have some help. You get one phone call and you can call a friend to ask for help for a question, only one. So we do get a phone a friend. You do get a phone a friend. Okay, we and call anybody also, we want. However, I'll get there. There's also 50-50. And I will eliminate two of the options for a certain question or a specific question of your choosing. And there's only two left and you get to choose from those two, one of them being the right one. Okay. For the phone a friend, you cannot call Anthony and you cannot call anybody who is mentioned in the video if the question is about a specific oh, video. No. <laughs> okay. I'll just call my mom. Yeah, so basically, if you've ever seen the television show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, it's the same thing just with questions that revolve around us. Um, the winner gets a pizza party. Not paid for by me. <laughs> well, <laughs> heck yeah. Okay, you wanna get started? Oh, uh, let's do this. Our first guest, we have Tof. He's gonna be competing I'm in- Tof. Yes, this is Tof. The Cult of 35 wants to be a millionaire. Now, are you trying to get this pizza party? Uh, yeah. Yeah, who doesn't want a pizza <laughs> who party? Who doesn't want the pizza party? Ryan McCauley, everybody. Hello, everyone. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling a little nervous. It's Anthony Manella. Thank you for having me. How are you on doing? My own channel. Yeah, thank you for honestly allowing me to host this and do such a fun event. Of course. Let's see if you can beat this. You know, this test, I got 16 questions for you. Do you think you can go all the way? How are you feeling today? Um, I'm feeling great. I, uh, yeah, I can go all the way. You I'm gonna get it. the million dollars. Okay, he's gonna and get the million dollars. And I expect you to pay it. Stay tuned. We're gonna start with question one, all right? Question one. Who is the creator of Coulter 35? Is it A, Danny DeVito, <laughs> B, Christopher Manella, C, Anthony Manella, or D, Ryan McCauley? As much as I want to say B, I, I'm pretty sure it's C. Is that your final answer? Yes. Uh, I, I want to say Danny DeVito, but I'm going to have to go C. Oof. Is that your final answer? Manella. Final? Yeah, final answer, final answer. D, Ryan McCauley, no, I'm just kidding, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your do, final answer? Do I get two true chances? No, you only get one. But I will ask for you to lock it in first, so it's fine. Are you locking in, Ryan? I'm gonna have to lock in the mysterious, elusive, non-existent Anthony Manella. C is what he's locking in? That is correct, everybody. He's moving on to question number two. Let's see if, uh... I'm expecting the claps to come in <laughs> like I'm on the show. Well, All let's right. see if he, this is where it gets hard. What is the name of the 10 part <laughs> Culture 35 Christmas <laughs> series? Is it A, Elf on the Shelf? B, snow globe throw. Is it C, Santa versus Black Manta? Or D, winter is too cold? You know, it's Elf on the Shelf, but I gotta say, I love every single other title better than Elf on the Shelf. It's <laughs> just so funny. Um, it's also very difficult. <laughs> that would be a really good title, but I'm pretty sure it's A, Elf on the Shelf. You're gonna go with A, Elf on the Shelf? That's your final answer? Mm -hmm. All right. Because I have done so many Santa vs. Black Manta videos. Right, there's a bunch. There's a bunch. But, but is I, there 10? I think there was 11, and I think that's the trick here. Therefore, the answer is A, Elf on the Shelf. You're going with Elf on the Shelf, locking it in? Locking it in. That is correct, everybody. Which person here in this question has never been on the channel before? Is it A, Andrew Heinlein, B, Franklin Rodriguez, C, Dennis Kenley, or D, John Cena? Um, publicly. <laughs> uh, some of these have, are not on the channel. Yeah, in unlisted and privated videos, Dennis and Franklin have made appearances, and um, I'm not sure who Andrew is, so it's really a 50-50. It's a tough one. Um, I, I'm gonna have to go D, John Cena, because he's never been seen anywhere. That is a... I'm not even gonna ask you if that you're locking it in. That's just a brilliant, he makes a great point. I think I'm gonna have to go with John Cena though. But John Cena has never even privately been on the channel. He's never been on the channel. That's what you're locking in? Yeah. He's locking in John Cena and that would be correct. John Cena has never been on the channel. But we're starting to get to the harder question. Yeah, I, I'm getting scared. $400 question here. I think this might be the first one that, you know, might test, your, uh, might test you a little bit. I'm nervous. 
Which video has over 10 million views? Is it A, Siren Head Sighting? B, Pablo Sanchez? My <laughs> favorite. I wish. C, Batman vs. Superman? Or D, I'm a viral meme. Batman vs. Superman was a bad movie. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say, I know you wish it was Pablo Sanchez. <laughs> this is easy for me, because I'm always checking the views. Siren Head. The only one with 10 million is my baby. Siren Head Sighting. You're locking it in? I'm locking it in. But it's Siren Head Sighting. <laughs> this is correct. One of the channel's first videos, Anthony Goes Shopping, features Anthony and who else? Is it A, Ryan Feeney, B, Larry Manella, C, Austin Murphy, or D, Ryan McCauley? That would be my dad, Larry Manella. I gotta, all right, it's, it's Larry Manella, but I would love to see this video recreated with Feeney in the role of Larry Manella. <laughs> One and only. Ryan, no. <laughs> Larry Manella. You're locking it in? Yep. I was in that video too, but I'm not on the options. <laughs> <laughs> Which of these characters does Anthony not play? Is it A, Grandpa? Is it B, Kyle? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> Kyle. 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 It's pronounced Kyle. C, Mulligan. Or D, Homeless Man. What are we going to do with Grandpa's a real person. And if he's not, he's played by Phoenix. <laughs> Well, first of all, Grandpa is played by Feeney. Um, I, I'm gonna have to go D, Homeless Man, because D, Anthony man. does not deserve to get the uh, the credit for Tove's incredible acting. It's a masterpiece. The only one that I don't play and would never attempt to play because it's done so well is Homeless Man. Well stated, just an illustrious performance by Tove. Homeless Man, of it, course. It's gotta be. It's gotta I be. play him. That's or true. He plays me, actually. <laughs> At the same time, yeah. yeah. It's beautiful. We're moving up to 2000. The first episode of True Myths of One Lie is about what? A, alien abduction, Ooh. B, dragons, <laughs> C, werewolves, or D, dogman? I actually looked at this last night, not knowing we were doing this. <laughs> alien abductions and pizza is the title. We haven't had a dragons episode yet. I don't think we, I don't think we had a werewolves one either, but uh, alien abduction mm. featuring me, Andrew, Toph, and Anthony. Are you locking it in? I'm locking it in. Final answer. Fun fact. There's a test episode unaired that it's not public. No one can find it. Only person who has it is me. It's about none of these topics. It's about ghosts. And that is the real answer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the first episode publicly is a alien abduction. That is correct. And I didn't even know that fun fact. Oh boy. In accidental murder, which fruit was the murder weapon? Is it a bananas? B, pineapples, C, apples, or D, kiwi. I'm starting to feel more confident about this whole thing now. It's, uh, wait, let me reread it. <laughs> is Ryan in this video? Ryan was, in fact, in this video. Of course video. he was. He was in every <laughs> video. <laughs> There's no one I can call for you this. Still, you can, Andrew. You have plenty of people. Seth, maybe? Well, considering that I've never held a pineapple or a kiwi before in my life, and that the only time I ate an apple, I realized I was allergic to it, um, we're gonna go with a banana. Bananas. It's bananas. Lock is that it your in. final answer? Final answer. Can, you can. Um, we can. We can fifty fifty. I. You're right, but I feel like that won't help me still. <laughs> I'm gonna call someone. You are gonna. I'm call gonna somebody? definitely call, You're gonna somebody. call somebody. At the four thousand dollar question, Christopher is going to be using his phone a friend. If the call is not. <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> did I not mention I'm not allowed to answer? No, you didn't mention that! Alright, fine, I'll give you this, but I'm not giving anybody else yes. this. <laughs> I'm his favorite. Yo. Hey, Austin, so I'm playing this, um, well, uh, Wanna Be a Millionaire game show right now. So, in Accidental Murder, which was the fruit that was used as the murder weapon? Um, yeah, so that's actually really easy. Um, this guy who's sitting right next to me said it. It's actually A, bananas, and he just doubted himself, though. <laughs> no one else is getting the phone of a friend, you're lucky. Because <laughs> I'm... The rules are the rules. Bananas. In my room is ruined. Who ruined Anthony's room? Okay, is I got it. A, one. Seth and Andrew, B, Seth and Zach, C, Seth and Austin, or D, Seth and Feeney? Oh no, my room is ruined? My room is ruined? Seth and Feeney. Is this your final answer? Yes. Can I get a year? Um, I can give you like a time frame, like 2013 okay. and 2016-ish. Oh, 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 <laughs> I couldn't even, I for a second drew a blank on the title. I know exactly what this is. This is D. Seth and Feeney. You want to lock it in? Yes. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna phone a friend. Okay. Go for it. Go for it. <clears throat> oh, Andrew, you better answer because Feeney's not gonna answer. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. <laughs> I was like, that's a dangerous move on Feeney. Andrew, 
Yeah. You're a lifesaver. Okay. Uh, we're, we're in a second channel video right now. We're play I'm playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and you're my you're my phone a friend. That was an awful choice. Uh, <laughs> it might. <not. laughs> I just need you to confirm if you were in this video. Which video? Um, my room is ruined. I'll be honest with you. I don't remember being in that video. All right. Um, I. I'm no help. I'm so sorry. Okay, I mean, your no help was kind of help. I think I'm, so. Too. I'm gonna lock in Seth and Feeney. Is that sure? Yeah. That is correct. Oh, yeah! Thank you, Andrew. Have fun, boys. All right, <laughs> later. later. Fidget spinner life hacks and tips features Anthony and who else? A, Bria, B, Christopher, C, Zach, or D, Hunter. My good friend, A, Bria. I think this is Bria. Is that your final answer? It is. Wait, is Tove an option? He is. Ugh, I, I kind of feel like it's between Tove and Hunter. Ah, uh, hit me with the 50-50. It is either A or D. A or D? Was Bria ever even in a video? Is this a vlog? No, it's not no, a vlog. No, it's like a legitimate like. Yeah, it's like a legit video. Life hacks and tips of a fidget spinner. But it's not like a skit. It's like, that's what they did. Anthony and this person. It's not a skit. It's not a skit. <laughs> it's like a legitimate like. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. It's like a little both of our remember correctly. You know what? I'm gonna go Bria. A is your final answer. Sure. <laughs> that is correct. Yes! He's moving yeah! on. Austin and Toph try to help Anthony find a date on what app? A, Tinder. B, Skaters Unite. C, Farmers Only, or D, Bumble? Like, I, I can see it being Bumble, but like, it's probably Tinder, because Tinder Tinder was trending. Tinder was popular. Is this a main channel thing? This is a main channel thing. Yeah, it's it's Tinder. That's your final answer. Although Farmers Only would just be really funny. Farmers Only. We attempted Farmers Only. Correct. <laughs> but I'm gonna go Tinder. You locking in Tinder? I have no lifelines or anything left, right? Nothing's left. I'm locking in Tinder. Mm. It was farmers only. It was farmers <laughs> only? Oh my God, I should have seen it coming. Tinder, I think, was done by um, Andrew and somebody else. Anthony did a collab with there two There was people. a Tinder one. He actually had Bria and Trinity help him on Bumble, I think. Yeah, so they were also in another video. He did a video. bunch of different he dating. He did a bunch of different dating. Guess why Bumble was familiar. Yeah. I didn't remember hearing the Bumble one. Mm -hmm. And there was a Tinder one? There was a Tinder one as well. The $6,400 question. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of, a lot lot of pizza. Of money. A lot of pizza. <laughs> this, is, uh, pizza. this is the final, this is number five in terms of the last Ooh, five okay. questions. Top five. Why was G not allowed in genie school in the video, Genie Grants My Wishes? A, he failed the genie test. B, he's not a genie. C, the principal doesn't like him. Oh, no. Or D, he lost his invitation. You still have 50-50 left. I think, I think I know this one though. Cause, and I, it's like, man. I don't think the 50-50 is gonna help me. Shoot. I don't remember. Um, I'm pretty confident that we never mentioned a principal. And I don't think that he lost his invitation, but that also sounds like something I would write. So. <laughs> I think it's either A or B. <laughs> it's not a genie. I can't remember the plot of that video. Would you like to use your 50-50? I feel like it's B, but I'm not locking that in. I'm gonna go 50-50. All right, your 50-50 is B and C. Oh, it's gotta be B. That's tempting. Let's do it. You know what, let's just do it, because I don't want to risk it. All right, the only two remaining are B and D. B and D. Oh my God. All right, just, I'm just gonna go with B. Final, final answer. B is your final answer? Yeah. That is correct. He's Woo! not a genie. Oh my God. <laughs> now I have one. nothing, right? There's nothing left. Top four questions, trying to get the pizza party himself. Ooh. In Mariah Carey's Rampage, Hotel Lockdown 2, Mariah blasts Anthony at the pay playground. What was Anthony wearing? A, Fall Out Boy t-shirt. B, Robin oh costume. C, Angry Birds costume. D, a Supreme hoodie. I'm thinking it's between the Robin and the Angry Bird. I know for a fact. <clears throat> well, A is a great answer, it was not that. And I have a Robin costume that is way too small on me and hugs me in all the wrong places, but it also wasn't that. And you're the one who wears the Supreme hoodies. It is C, Angry Birds costume. I don't remember him being in an Angry Bird costume. And I don't know, I don't, Fall Boy t-shirt sounds too normal. So you're going with Robin costume? Yeah, let's just do it. Is that your final answer? Yeah. It's wrong. It was an Angry Birds costume. 
Tof, you have settled on 125,000. Not bad. Not bad. Is there anything you'd like to say to your fans? I'm sorry if I let you down. I think you did pretty good though. <laughs> I don't think you did half bad. That is correct. I remember it saying, look mom, <laughs> I'm an angry bird. <laughs> As we move to the last three questions, it's a $250,000 question on the line. In the world's most dramatic soap opera, the video starts with someone bringing Andrew a drink. Who was it? Is it A, Anthony? Is it B, Toph? Is it C, Austin? Or is it D, Tom? I believe it's B, Toph. Are you locking it in? I'm locking it in. He is correct. Dang. That's like three seconds into the video and he walks away. Yes. That's good. I just remember because he was Tom's assistant in the um, hair cutting part of that video. So I think we also had him, while well, he was already in that outfit, just do Ah, uh, like a waiter assistant. scene, essentially. So we're in the second to last question. It's worth 500k. Anthony and Feeney teamed up to parody this Justin Timberlake song. Is it A, suit and tie, B, bye, 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 C, ride, cry me a river, or D, nine in the afternoon? <laughs> okay, so I don't even think two of those are just, one of them is like somewhat Justin Timberlake, <laughs> but there were other people a part of it, I think. Um, it is A, suit and tie, soup and rye, and I'll never be able to unhear Feeney's beautiful You're moments. locking it in. I'm locking it in. Are you sure? I'm sure. A is correct. We're moving to the million dollar question, everybody. How you feeling before I show it to you? <laughs> Nervous. I think this could be the toughest question I could have possibly asked. You do still have your lifeline. Let's see what it is. In the whisper challenge video, <laughs> what's the second thing Andy <laughs> whispers to Tove? Is it A, it's hot in here? B, can you hear me? C, you are cheating? Or D, would you like fries with that? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a good last million dollar question, I know, I know. All right. I know for a fact that it's hot in here was in the video. Okay. And I also know for a fact that can you hear me was in the video and so was would you like fries with that. You are cheating I don't think was one of them. So that leaves three options. And I think that can you hear me was the first thing okay. that I whispered at Toph. The second one, I, that's either A or D. Oh my goodness. I want to say it was A. Are you locking it in? I'm locking it in. He's correct! Yes! Yo, good stuff. That last one was tough, right? That was hard. <laughs> I told you, wow, that was good. I'm so, so impressed, I'm not gonna lie. I get the pizza party that yeah. I have to throw for myself. Sounds like it. I was telling Toph and Ryan, it's the pizza party you saved from the very first podcast, actually. So, you can just throw it for yourself now since you had it in store. Oh my goodness, you're right. No big deal. That is about it. How did you guys do? How far would you guys have gotten in the Culture 35 Millionaire? Let me know in the comments down below. Austin, thank you for putting this together. He's like our second channel guy. Whenever I need something, I've got an idea. I'm like, hey, put this together for me. And he literally has it done probably within four milliseconds. <laughs> and then he's already at my house, like ready to film it. I'm trying to do and, this. and I'm like literally like half asleep. And I'm like, what? Like there's a snowstorm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure you go subscribe to Austin's channel. Link will be down below. Also, while you're here, subscribe to Ryan's channel. Link is also down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a like, leave a comment letting us know what you thought, and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss when we post new episodes. If you have any other suggestions, is there anything else that you wanna see us do? Anything that I can have Austin put together for us to compete in, uh, let us know. That's about it. We'll see you guys again next week with a brand new video. Bye guys. Peace.